All right, we're on. Okay, well, my name is Rob Schramm. I'm CEO of Evergreen Fuel Technologies, and with me today is Nolan Koreski with Lake Washington Technical College. Uh, the college and Nolan have been great, great help to the company as we've uh, put this little prototype together. This is uh, the first uh, model of the uh, Evergreen Fuel Technologies Advanced Gasification Integrated Scale. It's a modified downdraft reactor, and we're going to give you a little demo of it today. So I'll start off by explaining some of the uh, the components of the system, and then we'll fire it up and you can see it run. We'll flare the gas first, and then we'll plumb it over to the engine, and we'll drive away on that uh, on that basis. Here is the core reactor of the system. The upper reactor uh, takes uh, basically any carbonaceous product. We're using pelletized wood products as our fuel stock. Fill this hopper here. The, the rule of thumb on these. Uh, on these reactors, you can get a one-ton truck to go about one mile on one pound of wood. And we've got about a 40-pound hopper here, so we can get about 60 miles or more, 80 miles out of this rig. It's not a one-ton. So uh, it's a downdraft reactor. That means that both the air and the fuel are flowing in a downward uh, direction. We take the gas out around the corner. Um, it's, it's, it's cooking in here about right, right around 1,000 degrees centigrade. There's a secondary reactor down below wherein we can turn the char into ash if we so choose. That's an option given the biochar market. We we'll probably take the char off now. It's carbon negative and it's got a pretty good market value in terms of soil enhancement. So then the gas comes out of this, uh, this upper reactor here into a small cyclonic uh, separator, takes off some of the fly ash. What you see next I'll come back to, that's a little uh, evaporative envelope there. The gas then goes down into a bubbler system here. Which, uh, which cleans and cools the gas and comes up through this tube here into what's called a demister. It'll take some of the high humidity out of that gas. And then out around the corner, there's a little impingement filter, a third stage filter, and then uh, we can either take that to a flare, which you'll see here. We'll start it on this small flare here, and then once the system gets going in about five minutes, we've got pretty good gas or even less than that. And uh, we'll flare it out of this bigger, uh, uh, unit here for a little while until the temperatures come up and we get a good clean gas then we'll plumb it over to the engine and uh, if you want to step forward here I'll show you the carburetion. Well you might like to explain this if you like. So this is an adaptation, uh, one of several renditions that, that can work uh, in this in this. Uh, yeah what we've done here is we've taken a, a fuel injected Ford Ranger and we've moved the original throttle body over and inserted a secondary throttle in between. So this is actually a dual fuel truck. It can run on gasoline or the wood gas, um, one or the other. Uh, currently, we're not real able to make a driving switch over, but uh, we typically start it on gas and then switch over and run and drive away on the, the gasification. Or the wood gas, from gasoline wood to gas. wood gas, right? Yeah, gasoline to wood gas. Okay, so as you can see, the, we've got tubes running over here. This is our air inlet during the time we're on wood gas. This is our fuel line on wood gas, and typically it's a one-to-one -one air fuel ratio at that point. Okay, you 